Okay guys, today we're going to learn about the skeleton. In the skeleton, you've got to learn about three types of skeletons. The skeleton consists of the endoskeleton, exoskeleton, and hydrostatic skeleton. And remember, there are animals who belong to all these three. Okay, so then, moving on with our endo exoskeleton. Talking about the skeletal systems you have these three which i said earlier and uh, our exoskeleton means the hard skeletal material is outside of the body and the soft tissues like the connective tissues the muscle tissues are at the inside of the body in most of these animals the exoskeleton is made up of chitin it means a nitrogen containing polysaccharide now friends, you should know that polysaccharide is a, a large, compact, insoluble, complex molecule which is formed by glycosidic bonds bonding together with uh, the monosaccharides. Therefore, chitin is a strong polysaccharide which contains nitrogen. So it is used as a cell structure. Okay, my friends? Okay. Now, uses of the exoskeleton. Exoskeleton is used to prevent the water loss and it is used to give protection and also it can easily be shed and replaced as they grow. Now you could witness that in the snail. Snails usually remove their uh, shells and they easily grow as they um, grow with the time. Okay, then it is that exoskeleton animals are not only snails. There are also crustaceans like crabs and insects like ladybirds and beetles. Uh, the others are also that are included are uh, the snails and uh, which are mollusks and insects like beetles. So some other exoskeletons are beetles and uh, also crabs and lobsters too. They are all crustaceans. They are also mollusks like bivalves and other uh, stuff hydrostatic skeleton that's the second type of skeleton a watery fluid which is compressible locates in between the muscular outer wall and the inner gut wall it is a soft structure when it is squeezed by the contraction of the outer wall outer muscular wall the animal can move forward due to the hydrostatic force created by the outer muscular wall on the liquid which is in between the muscular outer wall and the inner gut wall guess who's the animal that's a part of our unfavorite animal worms earthworms Ew. hydrostatic animals there are also some beautiful animals like the jellyfish and also some worms in the sea which are beautiful Next is a cross section of a worm. You could see clearly the outer muscular wall and the inner gut wall. Okay, my friends. Okay. So, next is the endoskeleton. This is our last skeletal system. The hard skeletal materials are at the inside of the body and the softer tissues are at the outside. Vertebrates such as mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish have an endoskeleton. The end, this endoskeleton is made up of hard tissues formed by living cells. The endoskeleton is made up of two forms of tissues, cartilages and bones. So endoskeleton is normally in humans. So I have included a human skeleton for you to show that this is all about humans, endoskeleton. And also some uh, funny picture mm, so that when you look, look the video you could laugh. Now, there are some of my friends who are like that, not to mention the name. So, my friends, I'm at the end of my video and thanks for watching my video. And um, make sure you like, share and subscribe my video and uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching.